Hello friends, this video on P block part 49 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more PA from exam. Now let's see the reaction of halogens with other halogens and they form a compound called interhalogen compound. So I have a halogen, they react with another halogen and they form interhalogen compound of this form or it can be this form or this form. Or these, these are all my inter halogen compounds. Okay, we have two different halogen. For example, uh, for XX7, example is IF7. My XX3 example is ClF3. Okay. For x x dash five example can be brf five. For x x dash example can be clf or icl or brf ibr. So many examples. Right? Fluorine is more electronegative, so it goes on the right side. Chlorine is more electronegative among iodine and chlorine, so chlorine goes on the right side. Okay, so that's how it is. And these interhalogen compounds, they are more reactive than their parent halogens. We'll see that. First, let's talk about this preparation of interhalogen compound. For example, chlorine will react with fluorine. It forms ClF. Will not say FCl. Why? Because chlorine is chlorine is more electronegative, so fluorine will come on the right. So this is the exact name. And you have to heat this is almost 573 Kelvin. So you get this interhalogen compound. Please note this IEF7 is very reactive. It is very so reactive that it can react with noble gas also. And it, it reacts with noble gas uh, right, to form compounds like XEF2 or XEF4 or XEF6, this kind of compound it forms. So it reacts even with noble gas. Very, 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 very reactive very react so rarely they are compounds which react with noble gas okay so as i've already told for x x dash i have these compounds example for x x dash 3 example can be clf3 or brf3 or icl3 or if3 for X, X dash 5, BRF5 is one example, IF5 is also one example, CLF5 is also one example, and for F7, uh, X, X dash 7, only example is IF7. See, greater is the difference in the electronegativity between X and X dash, okay, greater is the number of bond form with the central atom. For example, iodine and fluorine, the electronegativity difference is the maximum see fluorine is 4 chlorine is 3.16 bromine is 2.96 i'm talking about the electronegativity iodine is 2.66 you see fluorine and iodine the electronegativity difference is maximum right so you have if7 you have more number of bonds with the central atom and here also note fluorine is not the central atom iodine is the central atom if you talk about uh, no let's suppose fluorine and chlorine the electronegative difference is not that much so if you see chlorine and fluorine you form you get this kind of compound clf5 clf3 uh, clf okay the difference in electronegativity in chlorine and bromine is very less almost only almost point two difference okay so bromine and chlorine uh, where is the compound you will not find any compound there is no compound which has bromine and chlorine actually. Okay, so it's all about the electronegativity difference which plays a role here. For example, iodine and bromine. Okay, iodine and bromine, the difference is also only 0.3. You see IBR, but there is no IBR3 also, there is no IBR5, there is no IBR7. Correct? Because the difference in the electronegativity is less. 
okay so it is a electronegativity difference that tells you how many bonds it can form okay and all these interhalogen compounds they all they all actually covalent these all interhalogen compounds they are covalent because all these halogens they are in need for electron they all want electron they all non metals nobody is ready to give electron right if there is a metal and a non metal bond for example metal and halogen bond then you can talk about ionic bond there is a probability that one metal will give for example sodium will give electron to chlorine because sodium loves to give electron but there is a reaction between let's suppose chlorine and fluorine chlorine doesn't want to give electron fluorine doesn't want to give electron so they will form a covalent bond they will share electron so thus all the interhalogen compounds the bond is covalent bond you don't need to remember you don't need to mug up all this thing just understand the concepts if anybody asks you why interhalogen compounds are covalent only the reason is pretty simple see for ionic bond you need someone who can give the electron who can donate electron but if we talk about interhalogen compounds you have only halogens no halogen is ready to give electron since no halogen is ready to give electron there is no transfer of electron there is always sharing of electron so we have always covalent bond only in case of metal and some halogen we have chances of ionic bond and we have seen that and that also some case mx it has some uh, covalent characteristic some has ionic characteristic those things we have, we have just discussed but in case of interhalogen compound ionic bond is not possible at all okay and also i told these uh, interhalogen compounds are more reactive than their parent compound okay if we talk about the shape for example you have uh, this form so this form uh, of uh, compound will have trigonal bipyramidal shape this x5 will have octahedral hedral shape and this will have pentagonal bipyramid x x7 only one compound if7 pentagonal bipyramid these are the shape of these compounds okay so let's take uh, one numerical on this the question says fluorine exhibit only minus 1 oxidation state in fact minus 1 and 0 also 0 in case of ff2 where other halogens exhibit plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 oxidation state you have to explain the reason why See, the first reason is the fluorine is most electronegative. Since it is most electronegative and the value is 4, electronegativity value is 4, it cannot exhibit plus oxidation state. It cannot exhibit, it is not possible, it cannot exhibit plus oxidation state. Why? Because it can't donate electron. It will never donate electron. Okay. Also, it doesn't have d orbital since it doesn't have d orbital so it doesn't have any d orbital it cannot expand its octet and show plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 or plus 7 oxidation state so because of these two reasons first is most electronegative element uh, difficult to donate electron and the second is no d orbital so it can't expand its octet and cannot have plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 or plus 7 oxidation state Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.